Hello, this is Tina. How are you doing in this video? Oh, this is gonna be the last video from me today. It's getting late. Mm, okay, this video we're gonna talk about process dot next tick, which is a function. Okay, and uh, process dot next tick uh, is not provided by libuv. Uh, I'm not sure if you still remember libuv is the library which node use for the functionality like asynchronous IO event loop. So all, all others we talk about in previous video is provided by libuv. Okay, library. Process.next tick is provided by node itself. And uh, the callback, it will also have a separate queue call, uh, it doesn't have official name. Some call next tick queue, some call top priority queue. Okay, so now I'm gonna uh, go show you a picture, okay? What, what uh, about this one? Mm. Uh, this picture is from this blog. I copied here since I don't want to redraw everything. So once the we start the application, it will start of the loop. The outside the loop is the regular event is a event loop we discussed before in previous videos. Okay, the loop like here, the timer callbacks, right, which is the timeout interval, and it will go to all events like your reader file or writer file, okay, those callbacks, and you have the IO polling to receive new request or, or waiting for the uh, pending IO, okay, and after that you have a check phase, which is uh, for the set immediate, uh, which that of a method okay the callback here then you have a close here is to handle all the like a socket if you listen for event close or database you close those things then after that then you continue a uh, second round the third cycle or uh, until you exit which is you exit the program you exit but if in a program you have process that next tick that a statement, the callbacks is not in any of the loop, the circle loop. Okay, uh, this one. Okay, uh, let me draw. It's not inside here. Instead, it has additional queue, which is uh, called uh, uh, some article called priority queue which is provided by node itself. What's the difference between them? <clears throat> yes, for the timer others, it is gonna have a loop. One cycle, you only has one chance to execute, right? But for the process, the next tick queue or top priority queue is different. When, did you, when it starts, actually it will run, okay? See here, when we start, it will run this. When we start here, we are run it. Uh, starts will also run, okay? When it starts, it will check if you have any callback in the top priority queue. If it is, run this one. And after timer, it will run this check if you have, then run. And after this one done, then you will go event. After event done, it will check. So after every like a uh, phase is done, it will call, it will check if any callbacks in the top, top in the priority queue. If it has, it will run. This is the first difference. So, uh, one cycle, okay. Uh, we we can call this one called a phase, okay. So run. Um, callbacks in uh, next tick queue. Uh, every after every phase. Or uh, before this should uh, I should say if you do like this way, it's it's before right. If you do like it, it's before before every phase or before or after you can 
you can understand it by yourself. Every face, okay. The face I'm talking about is like this is a face, this is a face, this is a face, okay. This is a, a first dif a first difference difference, okay, about the next tick queue. Next tick difference, okay, the Q difference. <coughs> is it first and uh, i'm not sure if you still remember when i talk about event loop i talk about suppose a timer has uh, ten thousand callbacks in here that's uh, one cycle okay that's in one cycle of the event loop does it clear the total ten thousand for uh, callbacks in the timer phase no it has a limitation it has a certain amount of the callbacks, which each cycle the event loop will run for each phase. Here, pro, I, I couldn't. Rem, uh, I don't know exactly number. Okay, suppose here is one hundred. For for the remaining, it has to wait for the next cycle. It's the same for timer events, uh, pulling, uh, the check and the close. But it's different from the process next tick. Process next tick, uh, the callback, run the callback, no limits. So if in the process next tick, you have uh, 1 million, okay? 1 million callbacks here, event loop, it will run all the 1, li 1 million callbacks then it will move to other phase. So the so when using process darkness tick, make sure be careful, okay? Because if you're not a, if you are not a careful and here queued lots of callbacks here, then other phases are blocking, okay? That's the two difference between them. One is it. In one cycle, it actually has a lot of chances to run the callbacks in the next TQ. And second, don't ha don't block this process next tick because next tick next tick queue has no limits. No matter how many callbacks here, it will clear them and go to the next phase. So it's very easy to create a blocking IO problem. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good night.